welcome back to my channel so I'm here to do another video for you guys I just got done up and that's why I'm not wearing my glasses again because I the glasses just hide the makeup so I did kind of a teal and a gold look today so I did like gold just all in the corner and then the rest is teal so that's my look for today so today's video is me being honest and open about my anxiety and telling you guys what I'm doing to try and help it. I'm thirsty. So I was open and honest to my husband. I have figured out why it is triggering and just going off so much. Well, in my first video that I did back telling you guys about me um opening up again and telling you guys i'm struggling with my mental illness so i kind of told you already why my anxiety has been going off because um i didn't deal with my ptsd and like the past stuff but um i was scared to admit this but i am actually scared to be alone at the moment i am my anxiety goes off when i'm alone and by myself um, since my husband leaves, it just goes off like crazy. Um, and I feel claustrophobic. Now, I know this sounds weird. I just told my husband about this today when he called me. I, I'm like, I gotta be honest with you, babe. I have figured out some more reasons why my anxiety is so bad. Um, you guys know I'm dealing with physical issues at the moment with the sciatica, nerve being damage and the numbness and I I can't move sometimes like and get up from our first apartment we bought this toilet paper rack but we haven't needed it because every to every apartment we moved into has came with this well it's right here beside me on my side of the bed because I can't get up by myself so I can't I feel like I'm claustrophobic and my anxiety is going off because I can't leave. I feel like I'm stuck in the apartment. I can't even go down to check the mail because I can't get down by myself and I can't get back up the stairs by myself. Um, now I did just go and sit outside for 20 minutes because um, I gotta take a drink in. Sorry guys. Um, I'm only allowed sitting up for a maximum of 20 minutes because of my legs. So I tried to go up and go up on the balcony and sit up there. So, like, I'm going to, I, I do not want to cry, but I am really struggling with my anxiety. I had a tech, I'm texting friends because I'm fearing, like, I have this fear. I'm scared to be alone. I, I, I feel like I can't leave the apartment. I'm stuck. Our apartment is a good size apartment. Like we have two bedrooms, but it feels claustrophobic because I can't leave. I'm stuck in bed a lot of the time. Um, I had I was texting Leah the other day. I had to call my mother-in-law the other day. Um, one night I had to take two anxiety pills because one was just not enough and I couldn't keep my heart down. Um, it sucks talking about this um I hate that I'm back in this area again this situation um where I'm scared I I I just live in fear right now I'm living in fear constantly I'm not getting to enjoy my life so I am going to get help I am finally admitted and being open with you guys like I like I told when I was texting Leah, I told her I thought this felt silly. I am scared to be alone. I need someone to talk to me, text me. Like I've, I'm doing vlogs again. I'm working on a vlog for today. Um, videos and vlogging has been helping me, so I've been doing that. I found some other stuff which I'm gonna share with you because it's been so bad and I've been beating myself up about having to take a pill I try not to and I told my husband that and he's like if you have to You have to that's what they're there for to help you So I'm trying not to cry and remove my makeup. Oh look at that shine. Oh, look at the gold in the bottom. Wow So my throat is dry. I it's getting warm in here. I turned the air conditioning off so it wouldn't be loud 
but I want to come on here and be open with you guys and tell you guys the truth behind my anxiety is I am 29 years old. I just turned 29 and I am scared to be by myself. I panic. I panic bad. Um, because, um, you know, I went through a shitty childhood life. Uh, and I was talking to my doctor and my husband and my mother-in-law and they said because I'm in so much physical pain my mind is thinking if something goes wrong I can't defend myself you know so that's what my mind's thinking so it just uh, it sucks that I'm in this situation I just had a, I just sat outside and had a relaxing tea because I was starting to panic so that is the truth behind my anxiety right now I'm scared I'm a 29 year old that is scared to be alone. I'm just, I feel claustrophobic in my apartment because I cannot leave. I can just go onto my balcony. This was my first day trying it. My husband's like, try and do it today and see if it helps you. It at least gets you out of the apartment. So, all right. I am sorry, I'm just taking a breather here. It is warm in here. My anxiety's going, like I said, and when my anxiety goes, I get a dry throat, as you can hear, and it feels like my chest is tight. If any of you guys struggle with anxiety, you know how it feels. It's like your heart's coming out of your chest, you can't breathe. It feels like someone's on my chest, and my throat's freaking dry. And my hands are clammy. So, I'm going to share with you guys things I've been doing. Journaling. I got this in a friend mail from Jennifer. I, but what I'm doing, I'm doing something different. I am only writing positive things in here. Self care stuff. Um, things I have control of. Things to be grateful for, gratitude. What I'll write down what I'm currently doing. Like if I feel like I'm starting to panic, I'll say currently and then listening to, loving, thinking, wanting, needing. I'll write the time I did this. Um, things that make me happy. I'm writing journal prompts, gratitude prompts. I'm even writing notes to my anxiety. I wrote a note to my anxiety today because it was bugging me for a bit while I was on the balcony. So this is all about prompts, gratitude, writing to my anxiety, telling it I'm gonna beat it, that it's not gonna take me over. Um, so I got that. And then I'm using this, which is a scrapbook. I'm keep, I'm like doing scrapbooking. My husband has bought me flowers, so I kept some of the wrappings and put them in here. So I'm doing scrapbooking. My planner. I am, sorry guys, I am struggling. I'm trying not to break down here over the camera. <laughs> So I'm doing my planner as always, um, layouts, planning, doing like making meal plans because feeling um, organized and everything has been helping a bit. Teas, um, chamomile tea is good for anxiety so I have that one. I have this one. It's a common tea with natural ingredients to help you focus when you're feeling scattered or worried. It has cinnamon, chamomile, and orange peels in it. This is the one I was just drinking while I was out on the balcony. I've been lighting lavender candles. I'm sorry guys, I am. You... If you follow me on Snapchat, I did a live video the other day on Snapchat of me crying and going through an anxiety and showing you guys how it can feel for some people. But lavender is supposed to help with anxiety. I'm almost out of these. I do have some more. I meant to grab them to show you, but they're two big flowers, so I gotta pick more up. I, I've been lighting them up. I have lavender spray, so I could spray it around me or the my area in the bed which is over here it is calming my mother-in-law gave me this container it's lab fresh lavender so what I'll do if I'm getting panicky like right now I open it up obviously and I will hold it in for a bit and then let it out 
because lavender is supposed to be calming. I started up my Tamagotchi. There, he's having a bath right now. That is so adorable. I have like little kid toys, so I've been playing with them to keep me distracted. Puzzles. I have more, and my husband's been pushing me to pick some up. Like when we went yard selling a few weeks ago, he's showing me all these puzzles. Puzzles because it keeps you so concentrated on doing this that you end up forgetting about your anxiety. So I got kid ones because I'm kiddish. We are going yard selling. We just actually talked over the phone on this dinner and we're like, hey, do you want to go yard sale next weekend? Because he works all this weekend. So I do that. Bubbles. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I bought a pack of bubbles. Actually, I think they're just right here. I bought a pack of them. Um, two, four, six, eight for four dollars at Walmart. Blowing bubbles help because you have to, you know, breathe in air and then blow out the bubble, which that helps with like the breathing technique and everything. So this one I keep on my nightstand. Or if I'll go sit out in the balcony, I'm gonna start bringing that out with me and the lavender so I can smell. I don't care what people think. I, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to get through this anxiety. Um, color. I have gazillions of coloring books here at my craft corner. I made like a little craft area. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I showed it because I'm unable to get up and do a lot. We moved my craft stuff into here, um, like my main stuff. So, you know, I got this one from Dollarama. I do have adult coloring books. I have kid ones like Hello Kitty, My Little Pony. So I will do coloring to help my anxiety word searches and I have a few different ones of these and fun pads the fun pads where they have the mazes and all the all the different things for you to do mazes all sorts of things I should have grabbed that one out but reading reading is supposed to help um I, this is the line the witch in the wardrobe when you read it, you know you get so into the book especially if you love the book I love these books I love Harry Potter's um so I get pulled right into it that I end up forgetting about my anxiety. Um, paints. Uh, if you follow my crafty Instagram, the journaling.planner.girl, I've been hauling paints and stuff like that. My husband picked this container up for me and then I got her pile paint brushes. I got too many paints to show you guys, but um, I've had a few people request that I do a little tour on my craft corner, the little mini one from you for in here being stuck in bed, and I'll be able to show you things better. Now, I've been making lists before I go to bed. These are called nightly routines. So it helps me before I go to bed. It helps your anxiety when you make lists. I've been reading this, I've been told this to make lists, like even throughout the day. So every night this is what I'll do, and I'll share it with you guys. So I'll eat, eat a snack, I'll take a 12 hour Advil, take my white puffer, I'll journal, take a muscle relaxer, read, take my two headache pills, if I don't, I wake up with migraines, uh, take an anxiety pill, take a gravel if needed because those Advils really make me nauseous, there's nights I have to take them. Um, wash face, gargle with salt, water, warm salt water because my throat's been bad brush teeth and put my uh, night face cream on. I make this list every day. Like I just wrote, I just made this one for tonight and then tomorrow throughout the day. I usually make it through the day so it distracts me. And I check one off as I do it and before I go to bed, I will look at it to see and it makes me calm knowing I did everything. Cause there was nights where I, asked, I would ask my husband, did I take my puffer? Did I take this pill? I can't remember because I'm on so much medication right now. I'm so frustrated cause I can't remember if I took it. So this has been helping. And I've been writing like nightly prompts and nightly gratitudes in my journal before I go to bed so that I'm doing something positive and then we'll watch a positive, funny YouTube video. So, um, yeah, that's me being open about my anxiety and you getting to see me kind of 
how to breathe. So you can follow me on Snapchat. So, like I said, I did a live video of my panic attack, anxiety attack. So I thought I would share with you guys and be open with you guys. You know, I am struggling you know, really bad, but I'm using these techniques and texting friends and even calling my mother-in-law if I have to, just to try and get through it. I do appreciate you guys being so supportive and root me on. And I like being open and honest with you guys. And this was something that, you know, I had to be open about and let you guys know the truth behind what's going on with my anxiety, the fear, afraid of being alone, and partly because of my PTSD, because I haven't taken care of it. So I'm still waiting for a phone call. I'm on a waiting list to go talk to someone and I'm gonna go to another class, um, which is called a CBT for like um, your PTSD. Because I went to a class in Kingston for my borderline personality disorder. So I'm going to end it here. Those were some things that I do well. And I also listen to music, watch TV, Christmas movies. Because Christmas is my favorite time of year. So that is me being open and honest. Letting you know what's going on with my anxiety. The things I use to try and get through it. I'm really loving this look today. The gold and uh, turquoise look. I love it. So thank you guys for being so supportive and if you have any questions, any video requests, put them down below and I'll try to do them if I'm okay too with my pain. So thank you so much guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye lovelies.